All right, so I'm at, I'm at uh, Sam's Club right now, right? And I'm just here trying to get something right after work. Okay, just bear with me, guys. Check this out. No chicken. No chicken. No chicken. This is where all the chicken is. Guess what? No chicken. Let's see if they have some bread. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, they left the raisin bread. They're not even playing with nachos out here, bro. They're taking the nachos out here. Oh my god. They're not playing. I wonder if they have almond milk. I would like to at least have some almond milk and peanut butter. If I don't find almond milk and peanut butter, I'm gonna have a syllogism. All right, YouTube, YouTube, we back. Look, check this out. Today is, what is today? Thursday. Is it Thursday? Is it Thursday? It's Thursday, March 19th, 2020. And uh, yesterday was Wednesday, obviously. <laughs> and I had a, a pretty good day in the shop. A lot of people came through, um, a lot of people called in, and I just wanna, just real quick, having a moment right now, I just wanna show appreciation to everybody that still came through and supported me, supported the shop um, through these times, so thank you for real, for real, for, 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 for real. All right, YouTube, check this out. My boy Alec, he, he lost a bet. That's all I gotta say. He lost a bet, he's not looking too good. And now the debate is, what are we gonna do? My man said, I feel bright today. <laughs> and you wanna get rid of, uh, of as much of the blonde as possible? I think that's the best way to go. Uh, you're gonna look like a completely different person, bro. Let me, let me get you ready real quick. blonde or do I get like a normal haircut have like highlights almost not necessarily but the downside also that we got to look at is your corners will be more exposed by cutting it short mm. I don't know what do you think like you just lose like half of it and do you want me to just cut slow like maybe take two inches off and see how that looks I guess I guess that's how we should start Okay guys, so right here, we're, we're getting started with the initial guideline. We're doing a, a ball taper on my boy E, okay? And E has never, ever, ever gone for a high taper as long as I've cut him. He's always done the shadow fade. He's pretty much kept it pretty simple as a haircut. I have no complaints on it though, because let me tell you, you need those. You need those simple haircuts in your life. Huh? I said I'm wondering. We got the number two right here. We're just debulking the ridge. At this point, we didn't do nothing to the top because this is when he decided to start growing it. Um, he's he's going a little light on the corners. It's light season, baby. And I ain't talking about skin color. <laughs> and then right here, we got the uh, we got the half, no blade all the way open, aka half. Uh, we're using the wall system. I'm real big into the wall system. Uh, I just feel like you know it just works for me.
guys, so look, we're starting off the taper, all right, this high taper. I'm using a Babyliss blade on a wall product, okay? I'll, I'll make a video sharing how I go about it, how, how I install it, because there is a little bit of a tweaking that I have to do, a little bit of tweaking I gotta do, all right, all right, all right. I gotta say though, the masters come in clutch. I really enjoy using the masters. I just don't like using them without the no turn. And this is no like a sponsored video. I do like the no turn. Because if you try to put those guards anywhere else, it's gonna stick to your shears. It's gonna, it's not stick, but you know, you know what magnets do. Uh, what magnets do. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's a pain in the ass. So I haven't been using it all the way through with my haircuts because I just don't have esa cosa. But the masters are clutch. I do want to put the fade blade on them though. I want to see what those do. I want to see what those do. So this is where it to me is super satisfying seeing where the haircut goes once you start lining it up, especially around this area, around the neck area, curving over the ear. Woo! What it does, what it does to a barber, what how it makes us feel on the inside. We're curving it, we're not trying to push it up heavy. See, this is where you have to really Pay attention to how much, how much of this you're doing, okay? Don't, don't just shoot for the most defined line and you're like, man, if I just bring it up just a little bit, a little bit more, a more, it'll be, it'll be more defined. And you gotta be careful with that because you can do pushbacks around, even around that area. Pushbacks don't exist just around here, ladies and gentlemen. They exist over here too, okay? You can white wall that thing. You wanna know what white wall is? A pushback. That's a that's a white wall. When you start seeing a different skin tone, when you're lining somebody up, you might have pushed them back. Some some people want the pushback though. I ain't gonna lie. I've, I've met people that literally tell you, man, just go away, man. Just do it. Just do it. Do it. Okay, dog. Okay. You want, hey, pushback special. Here it comes. So this side of the beard, I just realized I say all right every time I get back on this. I need to find another word. Anyways, this side of the beard, 
is slightly darker than the other side and as you can see the lineup isn't the lineup isn't gonna pop as much that's fine just imaginary line just like the last video with with my boy Ant, where I was lining him up around the corners just imagine where the line would go don't try to push it in for a more defined line that looks absolutely horrible don't do that please don't do that don't do that your client wants to have a nice full beard imagine nice full beard and then this whole gap that's starting to grow back it looks bad man come on so don't do that to your client keep it nice and natural clean it up a little bit to get a bit of a defined line but if they're light if there's low density around that area don't push them back just for that straight line Look, guys, this part right here, I gotta say something. Not everybody wants to get a very genuine ass looking mustache. My boy E likes to keep his mustache wide, as wide as possible, and that's cool. Up until like last week, I was rocking it like that. I'm just switching it up because I was getting tired of looking at myself. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It gets like that. And and E, he likes he likes the mustache as wide as possible dark as possible without being too scruffy you know like I, how i used to look um and that's cool with me man i appreciate you all right guys this is important he obviously again again he has light areas around his beard. I'm not gonna bring his beard down just so it looks real defined. It's cool, barbers, hey, hey, it's okay. It doesn't have to be the, the most defined beard. There's people out there in this world that just wanna have the most full beard that they could possibly grow. And if that means leaving in some areas light to grow the rest out hey it's okay let them have that that's their victory just line the damn beard as high as possible don't try to push it back for a defined line and believe me they will they will appreciate you for that follow the imaginary line follow create it in your mind and then apply the imaginary line Okay, so as I watch this part right here, you know, we're, we're prepping him up for this lineup. Now, it's uh, I'm a little skeptical on it now because I'm combing the hair down, but the hair isn't going to stay like that. It's going to go back to however it really wants to lay. So it just makes me think like, what is the point of doing this part? Like, you can do this, but is it really gonna look like that? Is it gonna stay that defined after you do all this and make it look all straight? Is it really gonna stay like that? And is a man going to go out of the way to comb their hair forward if it's not that defined? Like, that's the thought for me. This looks great, but it makes me think, can there be a better way of doing this? This is me just being completely transparent with you guys. We're getting closer to the end of this haircut and I'm, I, I go through my steps, but I don't try to get it like perfect. 
because I know that towards the end, I'm going to work on detail work and that's what this is about. I uh, obviously left a big chunk of hair and we're going to get rid of it. Right, so that was the haircut that was me cutting my boy e the longest of times ago e if you watch this i doubt it but if you watch this appreciate you bro i appreciate you guys watching the video i'm gonna do my best i'm gonna do my best to uh update everybody on what's going on over here in florida in tampa florida um as far as barbering is concerned we're still going nobody nobody's shut us down although one of the barbers did mention that they're asking for us not to cut. Asking. What would you do? Put it on the comments below. Anyways, I'll be back on another one. I got a whole bunch of them. I just gotta push myself. I just got to push myself. Excuse me. And we'll be back though, for sure. So, so, so just wait, wait there. Don't even go to another channel. Just wait right here. I'll be right back.